Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Well, hello, guys. This is uh, Jim from Rochester again, probably one of your biggest fans. I happen to be listening to uh, Mr. Barry giving interviews all over the place, uh, defending the fact that he had gotten rid of Joe Flacco and kept the second string quarterback that he kept, whose name escapes me. That shows you how fantastic he is. But it seems to me like he's just trying to justify the quarterback he brought in for $250 million guaranteed. But the point of the matter to me is he's trying to keep the pressure off of Deshaun Watson instead of doing the right thing for the team. So in reality, he's not trying to build a team. He's just trying to make himself look like he's right. Um, as always, appreciate all the voicemails. Jim, I'm going to disagree with you here uh, again. Um, so Flacco was 1-8 in eight in his time as a starter with the Jets. Now, was it Andrew Berry's outstanding roster? Was it Kevin Stefanski's great play calling that turned him into a really good quarterback? Um, and, and relative to Flacco, Watson, you don't need to manufacture drama in, a, uh, in an NFL locker room. We've seen enough of it. So, yeah, they want somebody that supports. And, and I'm not saying Joe Flacco wouldn't. But why would you put something in there that can create the drama that you've spent four years getting away from? I, Quincy, I just I don't understand that. Yeah, I mean... Look, they, they, Joe Flacco, they moved away from the style that Joe Flacco played well in anyways last year. Like, we're just saying this because you like Joe Flacco and you don't like Deshaun Watson. Other than that, it doesn't really make sense. I mean, Andrew Barry, every year, do you realize this, man? Every year, we com we have these complaints about the backup quarterback position, Dave. <laughs> every cool, year, people man. call in yeah. and complain about backup quarterback. Oh, how can we have Jacoby Bursette? He's going to get suspended. We're going to play him. And what do we do by the end of the year? Oh, wow. I love Jacoby Brissett. I can't believe we're not going <laughs> to stick with him. Josh Dobbs? We're going to go with Josh Dobbs as the backup quarterback? Stupid. Andrew Barry should be fired. And then by the end of this year, what were people? Oh, we should have never got rid of Josh Dobbs. We're going to be doing the same thing again. Okay? <laughs> like, Andrew Barry has proven that backup quarterback, he kind of knows what he's doing. And I'm sorry. This is an upgrade. Jameis Winston over Joe Flacco, Tyler Huntley over P.J. Walker. If a situation like what happened last year happens, this team is in a better position. And let's also keep it a buck. None of what happened at the end of last year, well, not none. Most of what happened at the end of last year was because your defense was all world. You had an all world defense that allowed you to play with four different quarterbacks that allowed you to beat the San Francisco 49ers with PJ Walker that allowed you to beat the Pittsburgh Steelers with DTR and that allowed you to go on a run with Joe Flacco where he's throwing a bunch of interceptions. It's the defense. It was never really about the backup quarterback. It's the Browns roster. It's the strength that they have there. It's the fact that you could just toss a ball up to David Njoku and he can run with it for 20 yards no matter who is there at the quarterback position. It's that Amari Cooper is going to get open no matter who is there at the quarterback position. We cannot boil down the Browns' success last year to one of the least important parts to it, which was proven to be quarterback because they won games last year, Dave, with four different guys at quarterback. Yeah, and again, I get it. Joe Flacco, it was a great story. Um, I wouldn't bet on a 40-year-old on a guy who was out until November to repeat what he did um, in those games. It was special. It was fun. I wouldn't count on it. If, if, if I were in the Browns front office and, and my job depended on getting that right, I'm not betting on, on a 40-year-old guy who everybody passed on. I'm just not. No flag will go throw like four interceptions in like five weeks next year, and we're going to be doing the thing again. We're going to be sending the dunk on tweets on all the people who are like, we should have kept Joe Flacco. And then Jameis is going to step in from randomly one day, have a good game. We go, oh, Andrew Barry's incredible. At the, and yeah. He's good at this stuff, man. Like, why? The backup quarterback thing specifically, we have literally done this three years in a row. I don't get why we continue to do this.